45-year-old Prem Chand was checked into a Burbies hospital after being diagnosed with a rare heart condition. Five hours later, he was given saline and other medical treatment after he complained of chest pains while waiting to be triaged. So I had to wait until the number didn't call yet and I didn't open. All I find myself in Ward 6 of receiving oxygen and saline and blood. Three hours after, doctors pronounced him dead and began the relevant standard procedures, including placing Premchand in a body bag and placed in cold storage. Hmm? They placed you in the morgue? Yeah, Tell after then. The, uh, like, the same day I was in the ward when, when I complained for chest pain, the nurse said, like, I would tell the doctor come and call, and there was no medication at that time, and then I, I know what happened after then, but um, Philip and the one who come and take me out from the march, even he bring in somebody, when they hear the noise. It four hours after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Time for that experience. Four hours after. Prem Chan said that his family had started making funeral arrangements. This is when the unimaginable happened. A doctor who was about to place another body in cold storage noticed movement in a bag. So hospital workers were notified. And when they opened the bag, they discovered that Premchand was alive. Well, I wasn't fully conscious, but it was going to take me out. That would take me to the back and beam me down with bleach and then rehab me back to the ward. Well, I was in the, the ice box already inside with my name tag off name and number and word is when they fully conscious when they bring me out for bed then they get conscious where I, where I was then the nurse telling me he was in the march he got to bed how did the nurses the, the how they knew you were still alive in the morgue no i was making noise mm -hmm. and philip is the one who controlled the mercury bringing somebody at the same time prem chan said doctors told him that he played dead and are refusing to attend to him calling him a ghost he needs justice. I need justice because I get no satisfaction. Nobody didn't want to see him back in the clinic. They say I play dead and no justice ain't coming out of it. No medication in place, nothing. Did you write the minister, sir? Yeah, I did that already and email him. I called him back on the cell phone since then the story happened. I'm telling me that he's still looking into it up to now. I called him back up to this morning. Travis Chase, HGP Nightly News.